Debate over the role of uh, English regions in political decision making goes back uh, decades. The most recent example in this sense was the proposal for direct elected regional assemblies put forward by the government in 2002. So what are regional assemblies? Well, in practice they are um, a sort of a smaller parliament, they act as a smaller parliament and they get their own powers, some powers, devolved to them by uh, the central government. So a regional assembly basically appoints its own first minister and a cabinet who reports to the assembly, its committees and the media. A practical example of this approach is the devolution of power of the Welsh Assembly. In the 2002 proposal, regional assemblies were supposed to receive a budget from the government and some powers drawn uh, from diverse policy fields, including economic development, transport, housing and culture. So this proposal was the focus of a referendum that was held in 2004 in the northeast um, region. However, uh, the proposal for direct elected regional assemblies in the northeast failed really badly in the referendum, allegedly due to lack of public interest. So after that, uh, the size of the no vote loomed as a sort of a big obstacle for this, the creation of other regional uh, assemblies uh, outside uh, London. So since 2004 then, uh, the prevailing view has been that uh, regional assemblies lack public uh, support and therefore they do not uh, work. However, there are two, at least uh, some counter arguments that we need to take, to, to take into consideration in relation to uh, this prevailing view. In the first place, uh, research suggests that political interest, poor management and the lack of substantial powers contributed to the poor results of the 2004 uh, referendum. Uh, secondly, uh, grassroots support for regional assemblies has not disappeared since 2004 and actually has recently re-emerged, particularly in areas across England such as Cornwall and the North, uh, which, has, which have a stronger sense of regional identity. So in this sense, uh, the Yorkshire Devolution movement is one example of uh, this type of grassroots uh, support for regional assemblies. Uh, finally, uh, we also have to keep into consideration the fact that citizens' assemblies are not bound by and should not influence by in their deliberation uh, by the results of uh, past polls or a referendum. So for these reasons, uh, regional assemblies remain among the range of options that should be up for consideration in the debate uh, on English devolution.